So for this problem, you may need a, a hint. So I thought I might give you a hint. Now, the first thing you need to point out is read it very carefully because little details such as that it has a square base um, is important to understand. So, so think about what are the properties of a square. So if the base of the box, so the base of our box, if it's a square, what does that mean about these sides? Um, the next thing they're doing is telling you let me see, um, to say the that x is the length of one of the sides of the square base. So what they're telling you is one side is x. So think about what that means about the other sides. Now, if you imagine folding the box up, the that would be, the these would fold up to be the edges of the box, right? Now, if you fold those up, what would be the height? Because whenever we talk about boxes, whenever we talk about boxes, we always like to see them in their already folded form. And we typically call it length times width times height. But they've already told us one of the bases is x. Um, and then you see that doesn't mean that the height has to be the same, though. So therefore, we have height. Um, and now, if we are supposed to write the answer, uh, the, what they're looking for here is the surface area of the box in terms of x. So find the surface area in terms of x, only x. We can't have h. So do note, they give us another piece of information. They tell us the volume of the box is 3,000, or sorry, uh, 37,044 centimeters cubed. So if I write the volume equation and, and the volume for a box, hopefully we all know this one, it's length times width times height, um, and we know that the volume is 37,044, can we use this equation in conjunction with the surface area equation um, to find one surface area equation that's only in terms of x, right? Where it's area in terms of x and there's nothing else, uh, just x is in here. Um, and I hope that's enough of a hint to get you going. Best of luck.